Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You know that means a lot to me. It's Monday guys, it is time to get back on the grind, but technically it's Tuesday because that's the day you're watching this, but whatever, I don't want to confuse anybody. So before we get started guys, I have to remind you of one little, little, tiny, little thing. If you're watching this right now, you know what that means. That means that you woke up this morning, so that means that you are winning. So all your stress, all your problems can't phase you, can't phase me because you and I are already winning fam. So now that we got that out the way, we are here at the gym and I know you're probably wondering like, bro, what are you doing at the gym? It's the morning time. You don't work out till the afternoon and you would be absolutely 110% correct. But your boy Goody is trying to get used to cardio guys. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I've been doing some cardio sessions in the morning. Not every day, probably like, I'm probably gonna try to do them three times a week. At best, probably two, uh, just to get my body used to getting up in the morning because I'm, I'm a very late sleeper. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I'm not one of these early birds, but it's because my kids don't go to sleep, but that's a totally different story. Um, so I am trying to get back into the cardio routine. I have not done cardio for like over eight months. Um, so I'm trying to get back on the Stairmaster 30 minutes a day. It's just a good way to start my day. Hey, you get up, do some cardio. Yes, I am fasted. Knock out some emails, answer some DMs, maybe watch some YouTube while I'm on that Stairmaster. And like I said, it's a good way to start the day. So we are here and I'm definitely procrastinating. I'm definitely procrastinating, uh, redoing this clip about five times, sitting here watching some YouTube. I'm like, what am I doing? Logan, get your butt on that cardio machine. Get your butt on that Stairmaster and let's go. Let's knock it out. So um, let's do this and then we will start our day and we will start eating because I know that's what you guys want to see. I, I think. I think you do. Or maybe you just want to see Baby Lo, Crystal, and uh, Camila. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're almost done doing cardio, but one thing about the Stairmaster that I see a lot of people do is when they do the Stairmaster, they're like constantly holding on to the rails, or they're like this, and you're really not getting much out of that. So when you do the Stairmaster, you don't want to put any hands on anything. So hands on your side, hands on your phone, do not put them on the railing. That's just gonna like defeat the purpose. That's why it's a lot easier for you. Or when you need a break, you always like grab the railing because that's gonna help you. The reason why it's helping you is because you're taking all the work out. So it's called the no hands challenge when you do the Stairmaster. So that's just one of my tips. Obviously, <laughs> you can hear me kind of like huffing and puffing. We're almost done. We're 26 minutes in. We got four minutes left. Um, but just another tip, when you do the Stairmaster, no hands, mom, okay? No hands. Go, Mina. Go, Mina. Go, Mina. Jumpy, baby. Jumpy, jumpy, mama. You were just jumping. Are you feeling better? No. No. You're not feeling better, mama? Oh, oh, give me that camera. Give me that camera. And what about this little baby? Oh, no. You're not feeling good. You got boogers. You got snot. You got tears. She's crying. What's the matter? Hey. What's the matter with you? You don't feel good? Okay, okay. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. Okay guys, so it's time for the first meal of the day. It is one o'clock. Wasn't even intending on going this long uh, with my fast, but hey, it all worked out well. So uh, we're gonna break our fast with some delicious, delicious black peppered bacon from H-E-B. And then we got these H-E-B organic omega-3 eggs. So the reason why I go with omega-3, because this is what I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that the omega-3 eggs have enough omega-3s um, to equal like 11 regular eggs. So if you just buy like your regular generic, um, whatever, cheapest eggs to get, to get the amount of omega-3s in one egg, you gotta eat 11 of those. That's what I heard. I may be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. I actually just heard Mike, no, Mike, uh, Mark Bell talk about this yesterday. So again, guys, I think we're gonna go zero carb today. I think that's the plan. I'm pretty sure that's the plan. Zero carbs for the day. So we're gonna go with eggs and bacon for the first meal of the day. So uh, let's cook it up. Whew. 
Okay guys, so if you're familiar with the channel, you know this song always like typically my first meal of the day, whether I'm doing zero carb or not. We got five eggs with a lot of omega-3s and then we got one, two, three, four, five little pieces of bacon. I know, I, they, they, I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger than that, but it's all good. Um, zero carbs for the day and I will touch on why I'm doing that a little bit later. Gonna pour on a little bit of this Redmond's real salt because you guys know I love me some salt. Salt, 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 salt. Gonna eat this before it gets cold and then I will dive into a little bit on why, why am I doing zero carb? Like what is the point of doing zero carb and is it technically the carnivore diet? I guess you can call it whatever you want but I'll dive into that a little bit later. <laughs> Somebody's happy. No. Somebody's happy. No. Where are we? Mm. Okay, now you're just showing off. Oh no, what about Mina? Is Mina sleeping? <laughs> oh. oh no. Okay, come on. Come on, Sue the Billy. This way. All right, guys, so we have one last hot day before it gets really, really cold tomorrow. So we decided to take the girls to the park. Big Lo absolutely loves this park. And we've got Camila right here. She's just waking up. Crystal with her coffee. Always gotta have the coffee on you. So, yes, we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful hot day. It's like in the 80s. It's in the 80s and it's December. Like, what the heck is going on? But it's gonna get super cold tomorrow. So, uh, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we'll go home for our second meal of the day. Okay guys, so reason why I'm going zero carb is because, well one, I don't know, lately I've been feeling a little puffy, a little bloated, a little bit heavier than I typically am, which is natural. I am bulking right now. Well, I was bulking until I hit that PR on squat. Now I just want to chill, but I find it more and more that I'm getting myself in this really bad habit of justifying everything, right? Justifying eating ice cream, justify eating sweets, justify eating carbs and chips because I'm I'm bulking or it's the season that you know doesn't matter, right? And so um, I know the cut is coming on January 1st, and so like I said, I'm trying to justify everything, like oh well, I only got three weeks to enjoy my food, so whatever. But I don't like the way I look in the mirror. Like I'm just a, like I don't see the abs anymore. Like I said, I'm a little bit more puffy, and I'm not really liking it, just to be honest. And so I want to experiment with zero carb, maybe for the rest of the week, and just see. Like the, let me see. Like if I see any changes, uh, not not necessarily in the weight, but just in the way I look in the mirror. Like it, are those abs going to come out? Am I going to look more defined? And so that's why I'm doing zero carb today. Uh, and I may do it for the rest of the week, who knows? Um, but I'm gonna show you how you can do zero carb, whether you're cooking all your foods at home, which is the easiest way, or you're like me, who is spontaneously goes to the park and then wants to go out to eat. And so even though I do have food at home, I know, classic goodie beast. Um, so we're gonna go eat some food right now and I'm gonna show you what to order uh, if you're doing zero carb, so let's go. All right, so like I said, guys, Every time I go to the grocery store and I plan on cooking, it ends up being a beautiful day and I want to take the family out and we go out and we're like, hey, let's just, you know what, let's just go out to eat, have fun. So that's what we're doing, but we're still keeping it zero carb. So what I ordered was two quarter pound patties with jack cheese and two slices of bacon. I know it looks pretty plain, but you gotta understand guys, fat is very filling. So I know for a lot of people who are used to eating carbs or a side uh, to, their, to their plate, they're like, yo, that's not a lot of food. When in actuality, it really is. That's all the stuff that counts. All the like chips and french fries, that's just junk. You don't, that doesn't fill you up. Um, that's not gonna keep you sustainable. This is gonna keep you full. This will give you the energy that you need. Um, again, not really trying to go for like keto macros, just trying to go zero carb. So whatever my macros end up at uh, is what they end up at. So anyways, uh, this is the second meal of the day. Going in, two quarter pound patties with bacon and cheese. Let's eat, baby, at a restaurant. Eventually. Woo! 
yeah, baby, it is gym time. You know what time it is. But man, I cannot find my keto pump. I don't know where my keto pump is. I don't know where I left it. It's not the house, it's not in my car, it's not in my gym bag. Potentially could have got stolen. Potentially could have got stolen. But that's okay because if you just use GB pump for 40% off, you can get yourself some. And I am stocked up. Woo! I'm stocked up on my uh, Habit Card Core right here. Woo! Strong. Very, very strong. So if I can't find my keto pump, then I can always go with Havoc Hardcore. A lot of you ask me, what's the difference between Havoc Hardcore and Keto Pump? Well, I'm not gonna lie, Havoc Hardcore is pretty hardcore, but if you're looking for a true keto pre-workout, then Keto Pump's gonna be for you. Plus it has MCT powder and creatine, and I don't believe uh, Havoc Hardcore has that. Yeah, it doesn't have creatine. Uh, but yeah, but they're both really good. You pretty much can't go wrong with either. Um, so yeah, mix it up. It is chest day, it's Monday. You guys have seen hundreds and hundreds of chest workouts with me and Isaiah. So I'm not even sure if I'm gonna record, but uh, I'll definitely record myself taking some free workouts. So let's get it, baby! So since we always do our workouts, you've seen plenty of workouts. I don't know, today, man, woke up feeling dangerous. I don't know what about today is, but just woke up feeling dangerous. So I think we're gonna go for a PR. Maybe 430, 435, we'll see. I know this is about to feel really heavy right now. This is 365. No, what is it? Yeah, 365. So uh, let's see how this feels, and then we'll probably uh, judge from there. So let's do the damn thing. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. One, two, eight. Got it. Let's get go. Let's go. Too long on the descent. <laughs> Too long. Uh, all right, guys, so there you go. That was my PR attempt. Unfortunately, it did not get it, but it's all good. I was right there, right there. Um, I, I, I watched the clip over and over again. I thought I came down pretty slow, but after watching the clip, um, I actually came down normally. So. I thought I thought I took too long because as you're coming down, you're trying to control it. You're actually spending energy, so I'm mean, using a lot of energy trying to control it on the way down. Um, it's all good. So 425 is still my PR, uh, which I, I got I don't know pretty decently. But again, I was like in like prep mode for that. Like I knew I was gonna go for that. I was eating a lot of food. Um, actually, it was actually after Thanksgiving, so I had a lot of carbs in me. So that that could have been the extra boost. And um, yeah, so I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of just making excuses, but 4.30, damn, I was right there. I was right there. It was all good. So anyways, guys, gonna uh, continue our workout and then um, go home and have some food. So, uh, ah, dang it, still a, little, still a little pissed off. It's all good though. All right guys, so we're back from the gym and this is gonna be the third meal right here. These are two New York strip steaks and I'm gonna throw a little bit of this Caribbean Cube uh, beef rub big and bold. So here we go, this is actually beef rub. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use this one, this, I'll go with this one. So here we go, like so, like so, and then I will rub it in. Make sure you rub it all and they're nice and good. Then I will flip this over. So, put a little bit on the other side, and there you go, because you guys are always giving me crap about why I don't season my steaks and I just use salt, you guys get all mad, and so, anyways, enough, enough criticizing me, I'm using this one, so. 
Okay, so I finally got some propane and uh, we are using this Auto Wild grill again. As you can see, it's super hot, 1500 degrees up there. We're gonna try to cook these steaks again. I still have not perfected it yet. I need to get the right temperature and the right uh, settings and the right, I guess, like level because last time I burnt these steaks, I can't burn them this time. Come on, Logan, you can't burn them this time. So this is the post-workout meal. As you can see, we got two juicy New York strips. All right, drum roll, guys. Drum roll. Did Goody Beats burn these steaks? How do they look? Like, just look at them. How do they look? Do they look? So Chris said it was quick, but I think I may have overdid it. I'm trying to get better at using this grill. When we cut into this, we're going to find out. So here we go. Here we go. Get a little closer, baby. Get a little closer. Oh, I think we may have just got it right. Okay, good Okay, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? It's not burnt. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, huh? I don't like it red at all. I know you don't like it red. I do like medium rare, but to me, I think that may be a little bit too much. Do I put it back on there? Do yes. I not? Or do I eat it? Let's just take a bite. Let's take a bite. Take a bite. Let's see. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, some people are going to be like, yo, that looks fine. That looks good. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I think I need to cook it more. Cook it more. A few moments later. This, 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 is, this is where I should have got it. Now I know. I mean, l let me know in the comments below what the heck I'm doing wrong. I'm trying my best. I'm trying not to overcook it, then I undercook it, but I think this is kind of like where I wanted it. Now, I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, yo, Logan, you, you had it already perfect. Like, why'd you mess it up? Why'd you put it back in there? Look, I, I am a guy who likes medium rare, um, but I, I don't know, that just, it didn't look right to me. I don't know, That's let me good. know in the comments below. Um, it just didn't look right to me. So Crystal's gonna try it and uh, she's gonna tell me what she thinks. So here you go, baby. This place, this <coughs> looks really well done. Or not well done, but looks pretty cooked. Oh, it's hot. Is it hot? Uh -huh. What do you think? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, good. So, let's see. I'm good. Give me more. Much better. Much better. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you don't get any more because you're gonna mess up my macros for the day. Um, so there we go, <laughs> guys. Two big juicy steaks for the last meal of the day. Uh, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna catch up with you a little bit later because I want to talk about something I want to talk about, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Let me finish this uh, this overcooked or undercooked steak. Let me know in the comments below. Cheers. Okay, guys. So this is like the third time trying to record this. Um, as you know, Camila and Baby Lo are sick, but Baby Lo is really sick right now and she's like in a funky funky mood where I can't go anywhere. Like I can't leave the room. I can't go to the bathroom. She like absolutely screams, daddy, daddy. So you're probably going to hear baby low crying in the background. So I got to make this quick. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so today was zero carbs. Felt good. Felt good in the gym. Obviously didn't get the PR, but that's all good. I don't think I'm not going to say, Oh, if I had carbs, it would have helped me. Like, I'm not even worried about that. Like, uh, I just woke up feeling strong Feel like, Hey, what the heck? I'll go for it. So yes, what I wanted to talk about very quickly was what I talked about in the park earlier about how, like, I just wasn't like feeling confident. I didn't like the way I would look in the mirror. And I know that's something that a lot of people do struggle with. You know, they, they, they don't like the way they look. They don't feel confident. Uh, they don't feel like, I don't know what you say, like uh, handsome or, or good looking or whatever, I don't, whatever words you want to call it. But I, I, you know, I just don't like the way I look, but I I also don't want to get in that weird like mentality with food right? I already had a bad relationship with food uh, when I was overweight you know I, I've talked about this many times whenever I had like a cheat day or I had like a cheat meal uh, when I was trying to lose weight and I would absolutely punish myself and like just like tell myself how stupid I was like Logan why did you do that and just bring myself down it was a terrible relationship with food and it was it, it took me a lot of years to finally get over that bad relationship with food where you know 
but if I have a cheat day now, it's like, yeah, like, okay, who cares? It's just one day or whatever. It was one weekend. I'm going to be fine because I know for the most part I eat healthy. I diet and exercise all the time year round and I'm going to be okay. I already lost the amount of weight that I wanted to lose and I feel like I accomplished a lot. I'm not going to say I'm going to let myself go, but you know, like I don't get down on myself or I don't put myself down. And so I don't want to get into that level of feelings again or go back to those bad thoughts that I used to have back in the day. Um, all I'm saying is that I look a little bit, you know, I'm holding a little more water. I'm holding a little more weight. Obviously it was because of the bulk. So I'm not freaking out. But again, I just, you know, kind of just want to just tighten it up a little bit. I'm not trying to go on a 100 hour fast um, or do something crazy, work out three times a day. I just want to just tighten things up just a little bit because yeah, like I said, I just not, not really feeling the way I look right now or not really feeling the way I look in the mirror. That's all. Um, again, don't want it. Don't want people to read too much into it and be like, oh man, you have a bad relationship with food. You have a bad relationship with yourself, body image, etc., etc." Cause I've dealt with that. Okay. I dealt with those demons. And even though those demons are still buried underneath, um, I don't want to bring them back out. Right. So anyways, guys, I hope you did like the video. It was a full day of zero carbs. You got to see my family. You got to see Crystal. A lot of you have not seen Crystal in a long time. And she didn't, she didn't really like want to talk on camera today. And it's like, Hey, she has her days. Like I'm not going to force her to be on camera, but she is looking phenomenal. I don't know if you guys saw her at the park. So shout out to Crystal. She's doing a really good job, really clean up her eating. She's not doing much exercise, but uh, for all you moms out there who have two little kids running around everywhere, that's enough exercise already. So uh, she's doing good. I'm proud of her. The family's doing good. The girls are getting better. It was probably their best day in the last week because they had just gone like, I, I promise, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they were throwing up all day. Like we are like our laundry room is just filled with blankets and pillows and other little blankets and, and sheets because they've been throwing up everywhere and blowouts as well. So parents, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you're not a parent yet, it's coming. You, you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video. I love you. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button. I love you guys. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.